giving we receive. For givers never lack. And more blessed is he who gives than he who takes. Discover the key to eternal joy and salvation as you learn from the King Liu Okonkwo on his self-emptying spirituality series on MCCP TV. God bless you. God our Father, we continue to beckon on you for your loving kindness, for your grace, for your presence. We thank you for the birth of your son, Jesus Christ. Our audience are here to learn from him, to hear his word, and to hear his life, and to abide and live by his life. May God bless us and bless the words that we take in as Jesus Christ, through Christ our Lord. You're welcome, friends, to our self-emptying episode, the MCCP TV is always for you to continue to feed us with the benedictions of self emptying Yesterday or the other day, our discussion was on this particular note of benedictions, blessings, benefits that are accruable from self-emptying lifestyle. And of course, we discussed self-emptying lifestyle as a lifestyle demonstrated by Jesus Christ, inviting us cheerfully to participate in this self-gift of ourselves for our brothers and sisters. Amazing. Christ, by God, Christ, God, Christ, in God, through God, with God, indeed, is making an invitation, is making an offer. I, sometimes I call it an invitation to treat. Sometimes I call it an offer that requires an acceptance. And then a contract is drawn. The contract with God, the contract through God, because it's by grace of God himself that one practices or participates in the self-emptying attitude. No one can practice self-emptying without the grace of God. No one can participate in self-emptying who has not been graced by God. So even our exercise, our walking out, as it were, our self-emptying is God emptying himself in us and through us. We become God's channel of self-emptying. God's channel to self-emptying. God emptying himself so that everyone, you know, that's the joy part of it. The beauty of it all. I'm talking about the benediction and the blessings of it or the benefits that we have in it is that we have become so blessed. So worthy, though unworthy, privileged to be sharers in carrying God, bearing God, because self emptying is God actualizing Himself in charity, in generosity to us, to our brothers and sisters. So we becoming the channel, the instrument, the vehicle of conveying God, grace, self-emptying to the poor and the marginalized, to our brothers and sisters, indeed, is a privilege. And that's why we should be happy. Happy that we are carrying God to one another, to our needed brothers and sisters, because we are carrying Him. What else do you want to have? What else do you want to have as a benefit? What else do you, and can you get as a grace? If you 
are now a carrier of God, not a carrier of coronavirus. Only self-empty in our palliative responsibility can set us close to one another, for one another. My brothers and sisters, let's worship him. Let's thank him. Let's ask him to fill us one more time. Touch us one more time, oh God. Ancient of days, the truth of truth, the life of life. Touch us one more time to understand, to appreciate, to enter into the communion of self-emptying with Jesus, who emptied himself for ourselves through Christ our Lord.